Hi, I'm Matt Vanilla, and today I'm going to do a review of The Flash. So, the first season of The Flash, oh my god, what an amazing season this was. At first, I wasn't going to watch it, because of, because of, because of the arrow, whatever, it sucks. But my friend said um, it reminds him of Smallville, and I watch it, it does kind of remind me of Smallville a little bit. It's just fun. It has a great soundtrack as well. It's, well, Smallville doesn't have a great soundtrack. I I like somebody saves me, but not all the time. It gets annoying. I miss it sometimes, and I don't miss it. Uh, when I was watching, when I was watching them, um, Smallville. Yeah. So let's talk about the, our main character, Flash, Grant Gustin. He did a great job as Barry Allen. One fantastic job. Um, I. I don't know that much about what he did do, but I did do like research. He was a he used to tap dance. He see he can sing. He was on Glee. I haven't watched Glee. I don't know if I will ever will. Um, yeah, I love him seeing his interaction with characters and as Barry Allen. I love, it. I love seeing him invent the Speed Force or whatever. Like. Yeah, he's a yeah. Well, Barry Allen invents the Speed Force, so I love seeing that. Yeah, I yeah. Where and also at the end of the finale, where was he? Where where is he going? Is he going to another dimension? Is he gonna go to the dimension that he ran back in time and then he, like, you know, that episode. If you ever if you seen Flash, you should you should you should know that episode. That he went back in time the first time. Could go back. You can go back to that one. Who knows? It, everything is gonna be different next season. Cannot wait for next season. Now let's talk about our main villain, Tom Cavanaugh, the Reverse Flash, Eobar Don. So at first, yeah, he's a wonderful. Uh, okay, he's a wonderful actor. He, he nails the role. He's a, he's a terrific villain as well. At first, I didn't know. What? Why does he need Barry? At first, because I didn't understand all his you know, speed force, and how there's negative parts and positive parts. Like, so Barry charges like a positive, and I don't know the negative side. But so he needs to reverse flash needs to feed off the negative parts of the speed force. Yeah, I don't understand science. I'm more of a math guy. Like, math is science, but I get, like, I get, I understand X plus Y, I can figure out how it's 8 or 4, whatever. I can understand that, but I can't understand protons, negative charges, whatever. Positive charge. And now, since I've seen Flash, I like, I, lo I love the Joker. And now, I can add Reverse Flash to the list of villains I love, like Loki, Joker... Whoever, the Penguin as well. I like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. He's one of the good villains too. But the Joker's my favorite. Can't beat that Joker. Okay, now we're gonna talk about um the person that played Cisco, um Carl Va I cannot Vadidius. I'm bad with I am Spanish, but I did I didn't grow up Spanish. I grew up Italian Polish. So I can't say it's that. So I can say Cisco if I hear that name a lot during each week. So yeah, I love that he you know, like gave all the car the villains names at the the freak of the week. I like that. I mean, he was like funny to me. I I can't. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah, he was like calm and relief. Like I, I like that. It made heart light hard to the show. Well, no, the show was already like that. more light hearted. Whatever. Yeah, so I like them. So let's talk about Car Caitlin Snow. Not Caitlin Snow. Caitlin Snow, played by Dan Danielle Panamaker. Yeah. So I did. I didn't understand what she was at the first. I I couldn't remember what she did in the show. I, I had to like Google it. So she was a bioengineer. So I guess and I, so it's sort of like a doctor, and she. Like, so she can, so yeah, she, she's like a doctor that can like, like an actual doctor, like, and also like a doctor with machines or whatever, I don't know, I don't think she's a mechanic, she's a bio engineer. Google it yourself. 
I still don't understand science. I don't understand it. It freaks me out. It didn't explode the the DC and Marvel world. It does that every comic book or whatever. I heard. I I know about I know about these explosions of worlds. So I do my research. I don't read them, but I plan to read them. Or my phone. I don't care. I have I have the apps for them, but you got buy them. And yeah, and her character, wait, still talking about Caitlyn, her character lost her fiance, and he come back, because apparently you don't die, no one dies ever in TV shows, comic books, movies, whatever, no one stays dead. He comes back with Firestorm, which is pretty cool, because he's, you to see another hero in the start of the, the Justice League? Ooh, cannot wait. Oh yes, the, um, my predictions for them, because uh, I know um, Caitlyn and Sisko are supposed to be villains, um, Vibe and Killer Frost, I've been hearing about it. Um, my predictions for that is that there will be two versions of them, one that will be from like another dimension that are evil, and one that are the ones that we know who are good. I like that. You know, we've seen, uh, we'll see, we see, um, Flash running through the, the time stream, Speed Force, we see Caitlyn as Killer Frost with the white hair, or maybe she's cosplaying as Elsa for Halloween, or something like that, or, yeah, whatever. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of Disney stuff, <laughs> uh, Marvel stuff some, somewhere, and DC mentions, like, oh, wait, no, uh, there's Star Wars, and there was Excelsior at the end. I mean, Speed Force be with you. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about Iris West, played by um, Candace Paddington? I can't say that. Yeah, so she was a newspaper reporter, like how, like a little sign and stuff like that. And there's, um, you know, she, so she talks to Flash sometimes, like what how Lois did in, in Smallville with Red Boobler. Red Bluebur. Blue Burr. So it's yeah, that like that. It was yeah, kind of, yeah. It does remind me of Smallville. Um, yeah. I'll, why did I say that? So, uh, I, it should have clicked in my mind from the beginning. Yeah, and there's like a love because her boyfriend is someone else right now. At Eddie Dong, Eddie Dong. Are you saying that right? I think Don. I can't say it. It's hard to say how I pronounce my last names. Poor badly, poorly badly. Yeah, and there's like a love triangle between Barry and her and Dong. Which, because he's in actual timeline, Barry's supposed to be with her because, like, I'll, I'll explain. Because, like, oh, well, because a reverse flash went back in time and he needs, he needs a speed force, so. It, he is he um, Barry came to Flash earlier, five years earlier. That's why. That's why she's supposed to be with Barry, not Eddie. So yeah, well, okay, yeah. Pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> the the speed force. Yeah, I hope they get together in season two. I know because in that one in the alternate timeline now, which is probably be beginning season two probably. Come on, fighters. Come on. You know you can do it. Also, write Supergirl with Splash. I want to see them race. Cannot. You have to. Cannot let this slide. Like, no, we're not part of the universe. Third universe, whatever. You write the same two damn CP wheel. What the hell? Okay, now let's talk about Joe West. Which is Iris. Oh, it's just Iris West Spotter. So, yeah, played by Jesse M. Martin. Martin, my friend. Yeah, so he was like the. He's. he's yeah, so he's Iris' father. And, like, he takes Barry in when Barry's mom dies. Because the reverse blast kills her in the past. And that's how. Well, he. Barry's mom supposed to die uh, in the comic. Because I've seen. I've seen Flashpoint. Yeah, so, yeah, when he doesn't. When she doesn't die, comes. Not he doesn't come to Flash. Yeah. Yeah, and. He's also suspicious. He's also suspicious of Harrison Wells' Reverse Flash because we know that eventually he becomes Reverse Flash and then not suspicious anymore. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, we're not talking about now. We're not talking about 
Eddie Dong, which is Iris's boyfriend, Barry's opposite. He could be reverse flash season two. You never know. Or something like that. I don't know if he ever comes reverse flash in the comics, I don't know. Maybe by Rick Constant? I don't know his name. I am i try I try to practice all these last names. But no good. So yeah, he's like one of those people that doesn't trust the hero at first and then ends up trusting them later. Because like, oh he did reveal who Barry reveals who he is to him. So yeah. I'll well, say about that. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite stuff about the show. About this season. Favorites. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Ooh, I should be a star. Like, I should do that next time. So yeah. Oh well, yeah. So my favorite villain. Oh, let's go with no. My favorite character for besides Barry. I like Barry. I mean Cisco. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. He made me laugh. Like, like I said. I was afraid of it. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's a, he's a comedy relief. Yeah, I like them. He invents things like the the names and the other inventions he does. Please don't become by. I like him good or get the opposite or like or alternate version of him. Like I said, alternate version, alternate, 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 alternate. So, yeah, and my favorite villain has to be Captain Cold. Besides, besides um Harrison, which is the big boss villain with the big old life bar at the end of the game when you beat the trying trying to beat the game. Yeah. Captain Cold's like one of those mini boss and this is Harrison. This is Captain Cold. Harrison and Cold. And if you can see it, it's like yeah. Try it. let's try it anyway. Captain Cold, Harrison, Captain Cold, Harrison, Captain Cold, Harrison. There we go. Let's get it again. Yeah, so yeah, he was he was on the show for the first a few times, not first time few times like when he got the gun and he got the fire guy and get, gave him a gun and gave his sister the gun gold gun what's it, what's it, I forgot his name. Oh, he was on again he's also a big part of the legend of tomorrow but she I don't I did like I listened to a podcast about it um but she's post he's in just as like right now in the comics which I heard so, I guess he's gonna be good in the future. Can't wait to see him. I like him. I never, I know, I know he's from Prison Break. I never saw Prison Break. I don't know if I've ever watched it as well, but I might be watching Smallville all over again. Avengers cartoon all over again. And just as a cartoon all over, I like I like, I like it. I like it. I like my shows I used to watch. Which should be on. So, okay. Which should be also always running. <laughs> Yeah, so my favorite, oh yeah, my favorite flash. Oh wait, no, no, no. Favorite, favorite fight. Okay, yeah, I'll go. I was gonna say favorite flash, okay, but I'll, I'll go with favorite fight first. Um, the fight between Reverse Flash and Green Arrow, Firestorm, and Flash, like the mini Justice League or thing like that. Like how they all work as a team. Even though, like, oh, Barry told Firestorm what to do, and he got Reverse Flash to hit him with the Fire Blast. You know, Oliver got to, like, punch him a little bit. He, he got an like, arrow that will slow him his speed down. I wish, um, the Atom was there. He would be, like, four and take him down. Three again. Oh, one against four. So, yeah. I like seeing just, like, I love seeing that teamwork. My favorite flashback is, um... The one where Ear Bogdan comes back, and then we like, at the time when he, before when he when he kills his mother, Barry's mother, when we got because he's thinking about how he should get back, and he replaces him with Harrison White with Harrison Wells. He takes him his body, whatever a meat suit body, whatever. Don't understand. He kills the, he kills his wife and it, like, makes it accidental, which is pretty good. I would love to see. Tom Kavanaugh as the real Eobard Ia Don. No, not Eobard. Oh, no, not. He's already Eobard Don. I mean, um, Harrison Wells, the real Harrison Wells. 
Because like, we got to see a, the, the real Hester Wallace for a little bit, and just... It looks exciting to see it. See him like that. Happy. Like, thinking about stuff. Smart. I love that. I hope we get to see that in Season 2. And my favorite episode, it has to be the one with Mark Hamill on it, because... Mark Hamill... He's, he's a terrific actor, and I love to see him as the villain. As, like, a villain. Like, how he's... We can see his voice. We, I mean, we can see... We hear his voice as the Joker in the Batman. And we see him as, um... What's his name? The Trickster in this one. Which... He played the Trickster in the... the the 92 Flash series, which was cancelled. I should watch that show too. I got a lot of watching it. I got a lot of things to watch. I heard people, I think it's probably good. Or people, well, there's a, the Sucky, that Sucky Justice League show in the 90s, which was like two hours long. It was like a movie, whatever, TV movie. I heard people say it sucks. Yeah, so yeah, the one with Mark Hamill, like, he was, it was a lot. Like, Fun and a Star Wars reference, like I am your father to his the new trickster. Well, I wonder if we get to see him again. Pretty, I think it'll be pretty fun to see him. So yeah, Flash was ten out of ten. I love the ending of Flash much better than Daredevil's ending because Daredevil was like um a happy ending. He got he got Kingpin into jail. He's Daredevil now. Justice. So yeah, oh, I love I love how I can get Flash 10 out of 10. If you want to watch my Daredevil, it will be up in the corner of that iCar dinghy. So yeah, so yeah, I said it twice. So please comment, like, comment, like, and subscribe for more. And I gotta run. See you later. Explosion.